waiting on Mr. Gray. All he does is eat fast food. Doesn't gain a pound. While us fighters are dreading the classic DoorDash Papa John's from Mr. Gray himself. We had to switch it up on this road trip. Uh, first it was me, Johannan, and Braden, and we were leading the way. But uh, Andrew Garcia is just such a nice guy <laughs> that um, he's the same way as a driver. He drives like a grandmother. He will not, you know, speed up to pull in front of anyone. He's going to make sure there's 27 car lengths before he pulls out. <laughs> so we had to switch it up. So now we have Andrew up in the front. He's leading the way, and we can just constantly threaten to rear end him to push the pace of this. So trip's going well. We just got done eating at Applebee's. There he is, leading the way. Let's go, Andrew Garcia. Bray, you can keep your questions going. We can maybe get some on video. Um, what's your favorite animal? Ooh. What is your favorite animal? Snow leopard. Snow leopard, Brayden. You know what that is? Yep. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Boom. Welcome to Kentucky. Only four hours away. So tell us about the sister. Okay, why does she think she was better than you? And what are, why do her friends think they're better than you? I don't know. Because they're probably just like, oh my gosh, I have way more better skins than you and stuff. And I'm just like, they think I'm better than me because they killed me once. One time. Because I died from fall damage. And they're like, oh my gosh, I killed them. But, but, but you said she says she's better than you because she has a Gucci bag? Yeah, she's like, I'm so better than you because I have a Gucci bag of look. Louis Vuitton. I'm like, do do I? I just don't care. What is a what is a Gucci bag? A Gucci bag is some like it. It has like a bunch bunch of like Gucci symbols on it or something. Okay. And then like a Louis Vuitton has a bunch of like L's on it and stuff, and they're like super super rare or something like that. Oh okay. But I don't know. They, but they cost like two thousand dollars. But that doesn't mean she's better than you at Fortnite, does it? Yeah, and then she's talking darn trash about me and stuff. Oh, darn trash. Darn trash. Darn trash about me. So. You know what I'm gonna do? 360 no scope them all of them. Build on top of them, edit on them, bam, shoot them in the head. Cranking 90s. And I'm just like, you're trash, kid, get good. And then that's it. Cranking 90s. And then I just leave the call. Right? I don't Boom. do anything after that. Cranking 90s. Cranking 90s on all of them. What about your feelings to be back at Carson's? Uh, and, uh, this is a nostalgic moment. This is a very big moment. Um, my stomach is screaming for the ribs, and I got what I got exactly last time. It's nostalgic. Let's go. Carson's, Kentucky, Lexington. You gotta try it. Even Bray Boy's gonna try the ribs, right? These should be world famous. Carson's ribs. Literally just sliding off of the bike. Oh, absolutely amazing. My God. Absolutely. Johanna, yeah. give me the first impression of the ribs. Dude, the ribs, I'm gonna dream about them tomorrow. <laughs> Think about them. Best ribs I've ever had in my life. This is next level. I tried to tell people. <laughs> Do you know why I'm here? He's <laughs> just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's Ninja, oh my gosh. Video update, so uh, Kenny Foster, owner of the campground, sent me over the address sent the wrong address here we are we are filling up still about an hour and 45 minutes away from the campground when we have been on the road since 2 p.m and what time is it gentlemen almost 2 a.m <laughs> is it really almost 2 a.m no yeah, yeah. we've been on the road for 12 hours i think it's somewhere around 1 a.m i think they're exaggerating what time it's is it a little after one right it is 122. <laughs> 122 in the morning we now have almost two more hours to drive and I copy and pasted my GPS from Kenny's message. So Kenny, when you see this, you're a real piece of shit. <laughs> All right, let's get back on the road. Here we are, uh, we made it. Harlan County Campground, ladies and gentlemen, not Black Mountain. The reason, the, ring I'm uh, the reason I'm bringing this up, as you can see, beautiful campground. Kenny's place is amazing, we like coming here. But, let's tell you a little bit of a story. Last night, we, uh, we thought we were arriving at 2 o'clock in the morning. We come up over this ridge in what looks like something like this. 
We come up over a ridge in the middle of absolutely nowhere, and our GPS goes, you have arrived. So then all of a sudden we pull over the cars to the side of the road. At this point, what are you thinking when, when we get there, Tristan? I want to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> so we f let me turn this thing. We find out we are nowhere near the campground, not even close. I checked the deep GPS three times. I copy and pasted the information that I was given by Mr. Kenny. And uh, we're in the middle of nowhere. We have no service. It's two o'clock in the morning. We're completely lost. Uh, we're tired. Braden's the only one laughing. And uh, yes, yeah, so we find out we're two hours away once we get service. We had to drive for about 20 minutes. We get service, we're like two hours away. Uh, and then the best thing is Tristan over here. <clears throat> let's put you on the spot. Tristan over here goes, hey guys, I got a little service, follow me. He remembered that when we were leaving the campground, he saw a shirt that said, I survived Black Mountain. Well, it turns out Black Mountain is the entire mountain range here in Kentucky. So we end up in the middle of nowhere again, like 25 minutes from here, and then we finally find Not as Harlan. far as originally two hours. So now we gotta interview the host, the hostess with the mostest. Kenny, what do you think about this story? I'm just thinking about John Chalbeck's quote. Damn Yankees. <laughs> Just hit the grocery store with the crew, gonna cook up some food. Uh, so you got, look at, you got Johannan back there, you got Braden, you have Kyle and Tristan. So where would Andrew be? Where's Waldo? In the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got some delicious breakfast here, cooking up in the SFS cabin over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> got Take the eggs cooking. Got the bacon. Got J Johannan just whipped these up. We got some eggs for you. We're gonna bring out the peppers, onions, sriracha. Yeah. sriracha. SFS cabin. Thank you, Kenny Foster, by the way. Thank you. You made up for sending us to the middle of nowhere. For two hours. For two hours. <laughs> but we still love you. Breakfast with the crew. Take a look. Ready to go here. Andrew's out there still whipping up some more. Bray, how are they? Good. All right. Andrew had to bring in the peppers and the onions. Oh yeah. Chilling, chilling. After that uh, road trip yesterday, we're nice and relaxing here. Road trip. That was like a... Road trip was like two. It was an understatement, yeah. Yeah, we're just having philosophical discussions. We took discussions. a vacation. Here. That was a good one. Was it? Someone just yeah. shot off something. It, matter, it was Joey. It's Joey's coming. Yeah. Joey's coming. Run! Thank you. I'm We've got some overcooked going here with Andrew and Johanna for team building exercise. Let's go. Why, why is my guy some communication. <laughs> All right. Oh no, oh no, we got, the, we got to get the shit. <laughs> the rices. We got plates. I need rice. Two rices, please. And then I'll have some seaweed. Get the rice on there. All right. About to have another rice up. Okay, so this one needs to go. Tell me the game plan, guys. What are you doing on this one? So, what? Well. So someone needs to stay in it like a second. Because I feel like if second. I'm over here, then I can chop and fry pretty quickly. So I'll just feed you tomatoes if you want to. I'll, um, I'll feed you the tomatoes. I'll run the pasta. I'll get. One, I'll wash the dishes. Let me try to do all Chef the tomatoes. Chef Garcia. Thing. Let me try to just. Let me try to take the tomatoes and you just do pasta and plates. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got. I'm official now. I survived Black Mountain. Wait, 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 wait. There it is. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this part in to when we were driving through that one town and we didn't know if we were gonna survive. You know what? I survived. Thank you, Kenny. Boys out here shadow boxing in the country. We hiked up the mountains. I like that. I like that big head kick. Coming down from the shakeout. Back down the trails. Everybody looking clean. Got Bray Boy leading the way in case there's any mountain lions or bears. He's going to... You see that? The mountain lion comes after him. He's going to give him a little spritz. A little spritz. Get, get out of here, cat. Get out of here. Saison. It's Harlan, Kentucky. This place is spectacular. Check out Bray's food. Yeah, it's gone because I don't need food. Okay. What'd you order from the Mexican restaurant? What'd you order? Probably I'm going to eat four bites, but a cheeseburger. Okay, wow. Man, 
Funny story, we just finished up dinner and we were gonna jump in the car and head back to the cabin. But as you can see in the distance back there, there are two police officers sitting right next to our vehicle. And uh, we decided to take one car to dinner tonight. So Andrew, or Johanna, has ridden in the trunk. So we couldn't get back in the vehicle until the police officers leave. So right now we're pretending to be walking around Harlan. We're gonna go get some discount auto parts. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what we need right there. Oh, Riley, found out what we need. Traveling through space again. Three hours and 53 minutes from Harlan, Kentucky, in the mountains. Going to Bowling Green, bro. Straight to Bowling Green. Pull up some bowling ass. Yeah. Here we are back on the road, um, heading to the weigh-ins, heading to the hotel. It is Thursday, Andrew has to cut about two and a half pounds, and uh, Kyle's already on weight. Then we'll have Johannan cut and weight tomorrow, the weigh-in Friday, and uh, we'll have two of the guys in the cage. How you doing, Bray boy? I'm chugging on some Gatorade. All right. On the way to the next part of the journey. So weigh-ins at three. A uh, quick news report here, talking about the road trip across Kentucky. We're here with uh, Mr. Boxhead. Uh, Mr. Boxhead, how is this trip going? <coughs> Just, oh, wow, very articulate, uh, well thought out response there, sir. How much longer do you think until we arrive? <coughs> Typically during this trip, we've called Andrew Grandma Garcia for his driving skills, but uh, I'll tell you what, he's stepping it up a little bit. Yeah, maybe Great Uncle Garcia now. There we go. Okay. Yeah. He's gone from Grandma Garcia to Great Uncle Garcia. You keep this up, Andrew, you might make it to, like, cousin or something. <laughs> nice work, bro. Thank you. Bray, what are we doing out here? Looking for Grandma Garcia. Looking for Grandma Garcia? Where is he? Find him. All right, go find him. Go, go. He's right there. He's right there? Where? Right there. He's eating his food. There he is. Grandma Garcia. We found him. Brayden trying to learn how to click his ankles. Seven floors. What is that coming down the hotel? It's one of Braden's army men. He has a homemade parachute. And he made it. One made it. It didn't even move. I didn't move. We're hitting the pool with the squad. Part of the video. Run it. Oh! We'll send it to mom. Oh, what? Like, no problem, he's the champ. For the gram. For the gram. Oh! oh. oh. Dude, <laughs> on his face. <laughs> on his face. Drop <laughs> Bray! Oh, yeah, boy! Braden to Johannan, Johannan to Kyle, Kyle to Andrew, Andrew to Tristan, Tristan to Johannan, Johannan to the cameraman! Andrew cutting weight, only a couple pounds to go. We'll head over to weigh-ins. We got three rooms here at the hotel. Each room looks kind of like this. Oh, there's the boys. What's up, Johannan, Kyle, Tristan. Andrew Garcia finishing up the weight cut. Wrapped up here. We're gonna go check his weight in a moment. Should be all good to go. Braden, does he got a sweat going? Yeah, it's like dripping. Beauty of a weight cut. Hell yeah. How you feeling, Johannan? Like a million bucks. All right. Johannan getting the weight cut done here. Second cycle. You giving advice? 
Bray, what did you say he has to do? Think about when it's done. So, like, think, like, think it's almost done, and then it's gonna be done soon. Is that is that how you handle the weight cuts? I don't do weight cuts. All right, and if we can, uh, <laughs> crew just finished up weigh-ins. We got Andrew's little brother Lincoln in the building. What's up, Lincoln? <laughs> Andrew's father came down, Gary in the building. What's up? We're at a restaurant in Bowling Green. We got recommended by the hotel. What's up, guys? What are you gonna get? Darn it! Thing was, Did you miss? Thing was trash. Oh, I would have had that on video. Man, Tristan's gonna be a return and fire and showing you how it's done. All right, Brayden, you just made a wild claim. What did you say? <laughs> I you go him right there, Tristan or something. Wait, in what? So what? What in would happen? Football, that means I'll juke him out, and then when I juke him out, take a turn and catch it. So you think if we go out to the football field and it's you against Tristan, you're gonna juke him out and catch on him? Yep. We shall see. During the car ride, Braden kept saying crank in 90s, and we asked him what it meant. Better than somebody. Okay, Andrew, give us the actual definition of crank in okay, 90s. So the definition of crank in 90s is if you shoot somebody right here in front of you, and you get shot from the side, you put up a wall in front of you, you put up a wall to the side of you, and then you put up a ramp so you can cover yourself. And that's your crank in 90s. So you, you can build yourself all the way up, you're crank in 90s. That's building style! That's no building style! Allowed to say that. That's you lost, you lost your position no as building. educated Listen, Fortnite player. Listen, Andrew, say no cap. <laughs> no cap. All right, Tristan. Yeah, man. You're the challenger here. Man, what challenge? There ain't no challenge out here, bro. Braden was talking some crap, talking some smack, saying he you couldn't guard him. He they said he was going to cross you up. They all talk. He said he was taking your ankles home. How do you feel about it? I'm only here so I won't get fined. Will you explain what's on the line today? Uh... Ain't nothing on the line, bro, because I ain't losing. All right, go, go, go. go. Here he goes. He cuts left. He cuts right. Yo, go. Go, go, go. go. Brady, you can't do that. Go, 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 go. Brady, you got to run as fast as you can. Oh. oh. Look at him. Look at him. Get him. Ain't nothing on the line, bro, because I ain't losing. Ain't nothing on the line, bro, because I ain't losing. Oh! Andrew just goes out there and whoops someone. Hold my boots. One of the guys that did a face off yesterday did it. Oh. Braden experienced a little bit of the video games we had when we were young. Bray, what do you think about this video game after Fortnite? Go up the ladder. Yeah, go up the ladder.
So the last time we talked, <clears throat> you were saying, you know, your stand-up's good, you're always improving that, but you were really concentrating on improving Step on over. <laughs> Brayden, what are we about to go do? Huh? What are we about to go do? Uh, go to the fights. What are we going to do tonight, though? Um, we're going to party because That's won. all. And? That's it. Andrew's going to win, too, right, bro? <laughs> oh, and Andrew. I'm oh, making yeah. Let's go, Tristan! Let's go, Tristan! 